had a happy Black Friday. I know that I did. Me too. <laughs> All right, so yesterday we got a new Mega Trial deck. Uh, Rise of Royalty in Japan was called Spongebob Daigo, but he's not technically a character in the anime. Uh, pretty much. Comes with... It's a box. Carrier box. And inside. Another box. Excellent. <laughs> Boxes. Uh, yeah. Dignified Silver Dragon Sleeves. Sweet. Another box. Wow, that's a bigger deck box. And then... More. The actual deck. Along with the mat and rule book that you should probably know back to back. If you don't, you're terrible. Get one. Just like those uh, guys from uh, the uh, regional at one time. The national oh, yeah. game. We're still salty. Oh, yeah, we'll stay salty. Yeah. Uh, as to what's in that back, well. There are three very important one ups Sanctuary Guard Dragon. Uh, and you have your boars, you know, silver. Four Lamarack, four Galatine. <laughs> Those are it's at. <laughs> Two all of the 9k rides. One Constance, and one Owen. And Gordon Freeman. Gordon Freeman. Marin. Udian. Rengal. What? Uh, Rainbow Calling Bard, the personal booster for Sanctuary Guard. And, ooh, a different starter. Ambrosius. A different starter. This is insanity. He's not that great, but compared to all the other Royal Paladin starters, by which I mean like three. He's better than Bruegel. Yeah. Hey, leave my Bruegel alone. And then the same triggers you got for the Blaster Blade Trial deck. Because Daigo uses those. And yes, I went gung ho, bought three, because I'm just going to be making this deck for the locals. So, what yeah. Rengal uh, when he calls from the deck, he gets plus 3k for the turn. Oh. So, so, so what the other things so do over here. 10k, those are 10k anything? <laughs> and then the starter, as you can see, is one of those uh, draw a card when you move into soul. Ah, uh, you move him in and you counter blast one and you drop one and draw one. Counter blast one too? No, no kind of blast just put the soul, drop one, draw one. Oopsie. It's, it's eh. Oh. Pathetic. Jewel Knight is pathetic. Except for not really. <laughs> no, he had generic plus three. No, he had no. He's got uh, what was it? Superiority complex because he only gets stronger when there's less enemies. Um, so you know how we don't have enough counterblast one grade one world Real paladins. paladins <laughs> have need more. The market on it. Marin so what? Uh, this makes three. Yep, three. Yeah. So well, this one has a name. Therefore, better. <laughs> 10Ks, a special intercept. Where's the other one? Oh, what? Hold on a second. Maybe he's under here. Yep, he's under there. Uh, your discharging dragon clone. Your combos 1 plus 3 equal to K when attacking. Uh, Constance, when he attacks, is it when his attack hits a Vanguard? You can combos 2 superior call a grade 1 from the deck that's a real paladin. And then, Sanctuary Guard Dragon himself. When you ride him, you can discard a card and superior call roll of Halving Grade 1 from the deck. And his limit break is he gains 3,000 power for each Grade 1 or lower Royal Paladin that you have in the field. Oh, the torch? Why? I don't think so. He, with the perfectly set up field, when Richard comes out, he has a consistent 26. And when you have more, two more Marins, that goes up to 32. <laughs> That's crazy. Actually, 31. My bad. Um, it's technically a good deck overall because in the late game, when Pe when Dauntless dominates blowing up your shit, you don't need to boost them unless he's crossridden. Well, unless they're crossridden. So you don't have to feel that much, and you can still... Oh, uh, let's see. What was it? Um, you still have the advantage of being a Royal Paladin, so you have your Blaster Blaze and everything that recruits as well, so... You end up setting your field really fast. Well, all in all, pretty interesting. Like Elliot said, very vanilla, but those uh, exclusive cards are pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Now I can't wait to see Mega Trial Deck Volume 2, i.e. Battle Deck Dr. O. Ooh, crap. Doki Doki <laughs> Desu. Yeah. Like, even if they're planning another one, we have no idea what we're getting. <laughs> 
It's gotta be someone that we never actually see do a thing. Wait, wait, no, no. It's gotta be. It's gotta be the burst deck. Because we need more of these yes. cards. It might, it might be the case. It might just get upgraded into a Mega Shadow. Like those make boxes or something for it. If only they gave us anime art galaxy, and I'd be incredibly happy. Even though I already have four. Well, you can't do that. Because then that would make the other ones not special. Well, I guess it uh, does it for uh, this update. Um, next, yeah, we're going to be starting a tournament soon. And uh, next week we'll be having a sneak peek for... Showtime! You know, overpriced, <laughs> overpriced Liberator is so good, guys! Return of the King! Yeah, that's ah. going to be a big thing that, next week. Good to uh, see some decks finally get finished up. Yeah. Primarily, Brothers. but most primarily, Spike Brothers. It's been a long time coming for them. I can deck that I have never touched. I can finally get clan I have never touched. And I'm there for True. good World Paladin triggers. <laughs> and Casker. <laughs> so I guess we'll wait for that and hope you guys are looking forward to it because I know we are. Woo! I will sack like crap in the sneak draft. Shut up. Uh, Vanguarded. Yep. Bye, everybody.